wave wash protection. During periods of strong winds and high water, wind-driven waves can scour and erode a levee or embankment. This is referred to as wave wash. Using a combination of plastic sheeting, sandbags, and other materials can minimize wave wash. Plastic sheeting comes in rolls that are 10 feet by 20 feet by 10 mil. Other sizes and thicknesses are not recommended. Beginning at the upstream end of the area to be protected, two-foot, one-by-three-inch wooden stakes are driven into the ground along the levee shoulder. The stakes are spaced four feet apart, with every other stake staggered one foot to avoid weakening the levee. Below the stakes, the plastic sheeting is rolled out just above the area being protected. Several flood fighters hold the two edges of the plastic and shake it out to create a 10-foot deep envelope. Position the envelope's open edges so they face the top of the levee. The flood fight crew stands on one edge of the plastic and opens the envelope. Knotted sandbags are thrown inside to the bottom of the plastic, about one foot apart. The knotted bags are one-third full and can be easily tied by holding one of the corners and spinning the bag. Once the tied bags are positioned in the envelope, tie-down buttons are fastened through both layers of the plastic. Then baling twine is used to secure them to the stakes. If tie-down buttons are not available, a stone can be used to anchor the twine to the plastic. Next, a method forming a crisscross design of twine and sandbags adds additional weight to hold the plastic down. Starting on the upstream end of the protection, the twine is tied to the first stake. A knotted bag is suspended down to the middle of the plastic using a half-hitch loop positioned below the knot. The twine is not cut. A stake is skipped and the twine is tied to the next stake using another half hitch. The half hitch knot is helpful in making any needed adjustments. The next bag is positioned and adjusted so it hangs to the center of the plastic below the stake that was skipped. When two to three hanging bags have been placed, the same procedure can be started on the second upstream stake. As with the first stake, Knotted bags are suspended down to the middle of the plastic. To extend the wave wash protection, another envelope is inserted at least four feet inside the previous envelope. To create the splice, four tie-down buttons are used to fasten the plastic to the stakes. Two buttons secure the bottom two layers, and two buttons secure the top two layers, four feet apart. To complete the splice, sandbags are placed along the seam. If the slope is steep, some bags may need to be tied to a stake to help anchor the row. All seams are then covered with sandbags. Pencil-sized holes are poked in the bottom of the envelope between the inside bags to allow trapped water to drain. If more than a 10-foot width of slope needs protection, another layer of plastic can be placed above the first one. The new layer should overlap the first layer by at least two feet. Then the same procedure is followed with plastic sheeting and sandbags tied to the existing stakes. How did that... 
Finally, all additional seams are covered with sandbags.